Every 26 seconds, a student in America drops out of school, and more than 1,700 high schools across the country have a dropout rate above 40%. The sad irony is that most estimates predict that there will be more than 120 million highly skilled jobs in the U.S. by 2020, but American students will be qualified to fill less than half of those positions. These numbers can only spell disaster. But what if teachers had a more sophisticated way to monitor student progress? Education technology companies are now using big data analytics to give teachers a new tool to ensure success. Imagine a 10th grader incorrectly fills in the bubble for six apples, reevaluates, and then changes his answer to 12 bananas. We can now track the student's odds of flubbing this kind of question in the future and identify the flawed logic that caused the moment of doubt. Dozens of startups are using personalized testing to create detailed profiles for individual students, gathering roughly 10 million data points for every child. Arizona State University recently implemented a data analytics system that increased passing rates by 10%, while cutting dropout rates in half. These systems can also suggest exercises to make it easier for students to learn and hone new skills. Early adopters, like the Delaware Board of Education, reported an immediate 10% increase in both reading proficiency and math performance. And now, more than 10,000 schools have integrated data collection into the classroom, which will soon help us answer some of the big questions. Many teachers resisted technology for decades because it often amounted to more work with unknown results. But new systems can provide analysis in real time. And more than 87% of teachers surveyed today believe that analytics can be a powerful instruction tool in the classroom. Big data is no longer just a measuring stick. It is allowing us to climb inside the minds of students to see not just what they learn, but how they learn best. Policymakers, teachers, and technology experts now agree that analytics are ready to tackle the problem. Will it be the catalyst that pushes American schools into the 21st century?